good morning students this is your science teacher and hope you all are doing well um, today we'll be starting a new chapter chapter 12 which is your last chapter of the first term electricity and circuits we have completed chapter 5 separation of substances the explanation part and this week uh, you'll you'll get the question answer also only the take the odd one out and the uh, hot questions are remaining which i'll send you the next week okay so let's start today with this new chapter a portion of uh, it will be will complete okay so this is our chapter today now electricity class we know uh, plays an important role in our day to day life and it is convenient and useful form of energy which is basically used to supply current for the purpose of heating lighting etc and it is important it has importance in our daily life and can be realized easily when power supply in our home breaks down suddenly so we all know during this cyclone amphan so many days uh, we spent uh, without power supply and you know how difficult it was so we all know that electricity is very much important but how this electricity is generated so there are some terms first of all which we uh, which we should know there are three types of power plants which are used for generating electricity on a large scale because every time electricity uh, which is uh, generated is uh, made on a large scale only and then it is supplied to different places so these are the three types are hydro elect uh, electric power plants or as uh, we can say hydel power plant now hydel hydroelectric power plants they use these are actually unit big buildings or big units were uh where the electricity is generated based on the flowing water okay uh, here the kinetic energy the movement of uh, water is used by which electricity is generated so that is why it is known as hydel power plant or hydro because hydro means water then are the thermal power plant and these thermal power plant they are the units which ge generate electricity based on coal or natural gases our natural resources they use and by using them these th thermal power plant they generate ele electricity and the third one are the atomic power plants as the name suggest here atomic breakdown occurs atomic breakdown in the sense you must uh, you will learn about two terms fission and fusion now fusion means when two things come together and fission means when things are broken okay so here in uh, during the generation of electricity from atomic power plants uranium 235 which is a radioactive element this is broken and by breaking this by nuclear fusion of this electricity is generated okay so these are the three that is the hydroelectric power plant the thermal power plant and the atomic power plant these three uh, power plants are used for generating electricity on a large scale now depending upon the type of generator used there are two types of current one is the alternating current which is also known as ac and uh, the other is the direct current which is known as dc these two are generated now uh, you will have this question and i will explain you very clearly this alternating current and direct current alternating current are uh, this alternating current it means that the direction of current flowing in a circuit in this uh, alternating current is constantly being reversed back and forth okay whenever the direction of the current uh, changes back and forth that is alternating current and that is why the name is given alternating as you uh, you must have seen uh, the electricity which is supplied from the power houses to our home sometimes the power the voltage goes low and sometime it becomes maximum so here what is happening is the current is flowing back and forth sometimes the voltage becomes low the current is low and sometime it is high so those are the alternating current which we are using at our home and also in different power plants and the direct current are dc current these current are generated generated in a uh, large number or in huge amount but not used at homes and other power plants they are used at different places 
but we don't use it at home the electricity supplied to our homes and direct current means it does not change its direction it is uh, this this type of current moves in only one direction okay the electricity supplied to our home by the electricity supply companies they are the alternating current the electricity electricity we use at home in our factories or at shopping malls they all come from the power stations through this alternating current what happens when the electricity supply fails at night and it is pitch dark what happens when the electricity supply fails at night and it is pitch dark what happens class now when there is power cut and it is pitch dark we look for we look around for a torch and we press its switch at that time we see that a bulb starts glowing and this bulb will start glowing only when electricity is passed through it without electricity bulb will not grow so the source of electricity in the torch is what now we will find out from this activity which is given in your book that what is the source of electricity in the torch and for this we require a torch with cell or you can say a battery okay the procedure is uh, a torch is taken and its screw cap is opened here the the back cover the screw cap is opened and then we will see what is inside we will find there is a battery cell inside it a the some torch has a large battery cell and some has small also so they will have large battery they will have battery cells inside it we will take them out and there may be two or three or four cell, four cells inside depending upon the battery size and then we will we will take out the battery and then we will put the screw cap back on the body of the torch and now when you press the switch what we will see does the bulb glow no okay because the conclusion is what when you again put the ba uh, battery cell inside the uh, torch after after by opening this screw cap and then you cover uh, then you fit it and then you press the switch then we see that the bulb glows this means the thing this battery cell this is the important thing which supplies the required electricity to this bulb whenever that is put inside the current starts flowing and then this bulb glows and whenever we take it out it does not uh, it does not glow now we will study this battery cell because this is important for uh, the supply of electricity now you we have seen uh, we have seen the electric cell or battery cell is a source of electricity and what is uh, the what are the basic details of it let us see this activity shows the uh basic structure of a battery cell and also we should know the two terminals of a cell so this is uh, the material required here is a battery cell we have taken it and a uh, dry cell is taken and we observe it very carefully we will see two signs are given on the dry cell the one sign uh, one of the sign is positive and the other on the other end it is negative but where the two sides are positive and negative but where do the do, does these two sides are given can you uh, notice any changes yes the changes are you will see that uh, you can take any battery dry cell or battery cell at your home and you can just see this act see this uh, the two locate the two terminals of a cell you will see you will see that there are two terminals one is labeled as positive and one is negative the metallic cap at the top is the positive when there is a metallic cap like this this is the metallic cap you when you see this metallic cap at the top of a uh, at one side you will see uh, that is the positive terminal okay and that is marked positive where is the case of the cell is the negative terminal this is the case of the cell so this is negative terminal okay there is no you see here there is no metallic cap so this is the negative cell okay the cell which is used in a torch they are also dry cell okay all types of electric cells they have two terminals in some cases in some cases they are uh, however both terminals may be on the same side uh, here this in this picture you picture you can see this is an electric cell but in but the two terminals are not containing positive and negative charge here the same uh, the same on the same side the two terminals are present but it uh, happens very of uh, many very uh, rare all the cells generally contain on the two opposite sides so in this way we were we are able to locate the two terminals of a cell uh, so class this will be the topic for today and uh, 
i think this is a new chapter and we need to take some time and to get used to the terms of electric uh, current and electricity so we'll stop here and the next day we'll definitely complete the chapter and i want you to go through the uh, book properly so that you will be able to understand the things which we have done today and there will be no problem uh, in the future near future uh, thank you do take uh, care of yourself and follow the classes properly or keep all the files and folders properly uh, stored in your computer or laptop right thank you class